The trial of a 24-year-old woman now charged with murder in what police call a case of citizen's arrest gone wrong is set to begin tomorrow in Clayton County. The murder trial of Hannah Payne has been delayed several times, but we expect attorneys to begin selecting a jury in the morning. Joe Hankey has a preview of the trial ahead. A lot of moving parts in this. A lot of moving parts. Hannah Payne here is charged with felony murder, malice murder, and a list of other charges. And Clayton County police detectives say she confronted and then shot and killed 64-year-old Kenneth Herring in May of 2019 after he left the scene of a hit and run. Payne previously entered a not guilty plea. After two years out of jail on bond while charged with murder, on Monday, Hannah Payne's trial is scheduled to begin. Hardworking man, a good grandfather, a good husband. Christine Herring last spoke with 11 Alive weeks after the death of her husband, 64-year-old Kenneth Herring. Police say Herring was involved in a hit and run after running a red light and hitting a semi-truck on Clark Howell Parkway at I-85, but no one was injured. A short time later, he drove off. According to police, Payne witnessed the crash, called 911, and forced Herring to stop boxing him in about a mile away. Herring's wife says he was trying to get to a hospital. Because I know he was having a diabetic episode because he don't just run off the scene. I knew he was trying to get to the hospital. During a preliminary hearing, a detective testified a medic at the scene believed Herring was having a diabetic attack. He was on disoriented. He was asking what happened, who hit me. The detective says Payne ignored a 911 dispatcher's order to stay back and then can be heard on the 911 call confronting Herring. In the background, you can hear, um, get out of the car, get out of the car, get out of the car, get out of the effing car. Then she come, returns to the phone and said, he just shot himself with my gun. The detective testified multiple witnesses saw Payne attacking Herring before the shooting. Payne's attorney has claimed Payne was attacked and did nothing wrong. She stayed at the scene. She got on 911. She did everything she felt she did, needed. Payne's family and friends also last talked with 11 Alive in May of 2019 and stood by her side. This was an unfortunate, unfortunate situation that, you know, turned out the way it did, but not at the hands of my daughter. It was not her fault. And the Clayton County District Attorney tells me jury selection will begin in the morning. How long that process takes, of course, is unknown, but the DA tells me, Jeff, she thinks this trial itself would take about two weeks. Well, there are a lot of witnesses to this, right? Do, do we know what they saw? Is that part of, of what has been determined as of yet? Well, Jeff, this happened in the middle of the day. At the preliminary hearing, we learned at least four people, according to detectives, saw the incident between Herring and Payne. Each of them viewed the incident from different angles. They provided various details to police, so we could assume all of them, or at least some of them, will testify during the trial. Jeff. All right, Joe, thanks. We appreciate the information. Stay with us. For the very latest developments on the trial, you can download our app. Easy to do. You know how that goes.